Okay. We are ready to start. I'm still waiting for presentation on the screen. Yep. Time is up, guys. You have 30 hours to deliver the product and prepare your pitch. And now, finally, the moment we're all were waiting for. Demo test. Now, let's see if we made it till the final. And we have two groups randomly selected, two groups of teams, nine. Then we're going to have 15 minutes of, you know, just a small pause. And 10 more, uh, totally 19 pitches. And it's time to meet our jury. We have Alexander, Chief Emotional Officer of Tech Holding. Yeah. Olga, Chief Revenue Officer of Tech Holding. Juanes, Founder of Startup 346. Uh, Ami, Investment Manager of Accept Departments. Marios, General Manager of Tech Island. <laughs> and the guy you all know, Sergei, Head of Research and Analytics at Atec Holding. So, we wanna, I want to remind you and for, most of, for, firstly, for the jury about the criteria, how we're going to assess our teams. It's product, uh, product functionality, product functionality, the idea of business potential, technological innovation, and the quality of presentation. And, well, we have just five minutes per team here, and we are ready to start. So, we have our first team, events, events crowd. Please come to the stage, and I'm asking the second team to prepare. Hi guys. I hope you, you enjoy this event. And if you want events like this to happen more often in our island, we know how to do this. We brought a cool idea. We help to organize events and bring more valuable speakers and celebrities to our home. How we do this? And why we are different? Because we make it more cheaper, we help to crowdfund, and we are making your idea to happen. Why we decided to do this? Because we didn't find a similar solution. We see some platforms for non profit charities. We decided to extend this idea and to bring it to education and fun. How you have to start? Just take your idea, bring to our platform, take some simple steps, and I will show you how to do this. You have to fill some simple profile for us to do to make something, some information to collect. Tell you about your event. Real number? Yeah, So, I have 
uh, we have some important models here. So we can mix and crowd invest and crowd plus invest. So we'll later tell you about this. So now you can see a simple progress of the land, how much does it cost and how much we have to collect. Some basic information. And what is important about platform that we bring not only the idea, we bring also how to do this, to place and practice to the platform to make this happen from experience point, not only funding. Uh, also, we try to create some simple market so suppliers will reply to you and bring their services to the platform. Attendees, no, no, but we can create. So you can check, go to the attendee for profile. And attend this event. Of course, you have to give some money and you get some ticket back. Now we go as initiated to our event to see how it is. Same logic we have with investors. I'm not going to show this to save time and I give the floor to my colleague Joel to explain the investment part. Okay. Uh, hi, so uh, our platform has two legs. The non-profit one, which uh, to which you bring us your idea, we analyze it. If it's doable, we crowdfund it and we launch it for you. And the profitable part, which is the investment section, which is the most important and uh, most interesting, it is it applies uh, like an idea from someone. We analyze it. We do the uh, cost analysis and the estimated return. We crowdfund it, and at this stage, the investors, the people who will invest from around the world, will have their money with him and not withdrawing it because the, the event did not uh, get uh, launched yet. So at this point, um, it, um, when it, whatever money uh, was collected, once it reaches the cost of the event, we can launch the, the event. And uh, at this stage as well, we issue an insurance policy to cover all the unpredicted and uh, outbreaks and anything that could uh, result in a loss. From this uh, point of view, we guarantee for the investors 5 to 10 percent return, uh, five, sorry, 5 to 100 percent investment return, and anything above the 100 percent would go to the platform owners, along with other services and, uh, I mean, margins on the services and the event planning that the platform will collect during pre the preparation of the events. So basically, we have suppliers and sponsors being able to uh, to register in order for us to uh, to faster. Uh, that's it. Ten minutes, ten so, seconds. Yeah. All right. So suppliers and sponsors can uh, register with us, and we also use all the collected information from the leads and the suppliers and sponsors to uh, use it for as a marketing tool later on. Thank you. Now the second thing is called only managers. And it's actually only managers. Only managers. Positioning, we would add to 
the second trademark um, actions, uh, cosmetics, uh, different types of goods. On the second level, we will add something else like drinks and foods. So we also have some monetization financial support from the government already, and we have 15 million euro more in the upcoming two years to support it. That's why the idea came to our heads. Why we do not improve the life of our customers in Cyprus and some other people like local manufacturers and also for the government, we would make a specific system that would help these users. So our first user is Sunny. She is the retail customer. She comes to the shop. She wants to buy the best product. She wants to learn about the rich history of Cyprus. And she wants to avoid fake products, of course. Our second actor is Mr. Pandos. He just grows local grapes and he produces local wines. And he wants to sell more specifically abroad. So he wants to have statistics to understand his regions. And our third actor is Mr. Alexandros. He is our authority representative. He just wants to strengthen our Cyprus brand abroad. So basically, what happens? We have some goods with a QR code, which is put on the package of it. We scan it with our mobile phone. Every mobile phone is good for it. We send the statistics to our database. We have the admin panel where we can manipulate the data. And all these statistics go to some system to analyze. And we even can improve the production of our products and grow our uh, manufacturing sites. We use only specific technologies here. And uh, for monetization, we ask for the government for some help, and in return, they will get the percentage of the taxes when we export the goods abroad. Also, on our application, we show the specific ad placement where the ads will be rotating. And uh, for the phase two, we will add paid subscriptions, tiers, some logistics chains. That is our plan. Uh, the product roadmap we will add blockchain for data validation, we will add NFT for luxury products, some additional roles, we have statistics, and logistics. So, and why this hackathon? Because we want to hear from you, hear the third opinion, to get some support, to spread the word. So, thank you for your work. And here is our team. We have five people, and here is our uh, admin panel, let's go to our presentation now. Here's our working prototype, which we uh, finished from scratch from yesterday. Here is Mr. Alexandros. You can see all the products uh, and manufacturers, and we have a specific admin panel for the manufacturer. We can have where he can produce specific products. Now we will produce. 32 lots of specific cream or Cyprus identity. We have the QR code of it. We put it onto our packages. You will see some goods if you see. And just a second, we're sharing our screen. Yes. And here is our scam product with all the details. And we can see even here, sorry for this icon, it's sharing icon. But on the above, we see the number of lots for the manufacturer. Here is the place for ads. And with the share button, we can share it and spread the word to our friends. Thank you for this. <laughs> Thank you. And the next team is Walkie Talkie. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So, hello, we are Walkie Talkie team and we want to produce something useful. Uh, so, let's start. Um, 
How much time? Uh, uh, no, I want to say. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Uh, I have a lot of time. Uh, have faced a question that uh, there is uh, too hard to find something, uh, some products or some services in Cyprus. Uh, uh, recently, I have a problem. Uh, I broke my plaster, and uh, there was a crack. And I had no idea how to fix it. Uh, I asked Google and found nothing helpful. Only a few expensive plumbing uh, websites. Then I asked my uh, secret neighbor for help. Uh, she gave me the number. number. I called him. He could help me and he told me to go to the Marga store uh, to buy a new bus bar. Okay. Uh, in the Marga store, they gave me the another master number. And uh, I thought, okay, I will buy the new bus up and install it with the master they gave me. But uh, there was another question left. Uh, how to read off the old one? I found a telegram chart and asked my question there. Uh, but I didn't get the answer because of these charts are overloaded with information. Uh, perhaps the right person never saw a question uh, because uh, it's impossible to find uh, this question and filter the information. Uh, you have to spend a lot of time uh, to find something useful. Uh, so, is it possible to make finding answers, services and uh, products in Cyprus easier? And uh, we have an uh, answer. Yes. I want to introduce uh, our easy and quick walkie-talkie messenger. Uh, which will match your question with an expert or business in the field you need, uh, with, uh, based on pre trained AI algorithm. So let's see how it works. On the screens, you can see two experts. One of them uh, specialized by WASTAPs, another on common questions in uh, Limbasol. So, first of all, I need to ask a question. Uh, login, uh, then uh, I need to create a chart. I have to write something in topic about the stop, and uh, my first message will be where to buy the bus stop. Okay, I'm ready, and then create a chart. As you can see, uh, this chart will appear in, uh, uh, in the chat uh, room an expert who is specialized by bus stops. He clicked the notification button and uh, the chat appears here. Then he is answering me and I'm waiting for the answer. Okay, I'm still waiting. But uh, I think that this is too much for me. Uh, I want to find another expert who can help me. Then I need to push the button that uh, match me with another expert in the common questions in the muscle. And you can see the notification uh, in the expert window. Uh, he pushed it. Okay, and uh, this expert can see all previous messages. And uh, he has answered that I can buy my new laptop only for 19 euros. Okay, it's great. I think uh, this uh, answer satisfies me. I have to close this chart with this button, uh, answer a couple of questions uh, that yes, my answer was resolved, and I want to thank uh, this expert. I said yes. So here you can see a summary. A summary will help another. People who have uh, similar problems, find your answer or find the answer that uh, another expert gave you. In the expert, you can see rate. This rating uh, will up, but we thank uh, this expert, and uh, this rating can be monitored. Uh, so that's it. 
I mean, even user-friendly messenger uh, may try to answer uh, rather than services uh, simple and effective. Our requirement system uh, will uh, will allow you to live deep, uh, that will motivate people to collaborate. Uh, so uh, let's uh, uh, transform the service market in Cyprus together. Uh, check uh, this QR code uh, and try our application. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Right, and the next thing is One Stop Solution Medical. Welcome to stage. Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. I'm Jesse Lewis. I'm a business developer at OSS Health, not medical. Mm -hmm. Um, today I want to show you a little bit of uh, what we are and what this platform does. OSS Health is a platform where doctors and patients can communicate in a transparent and effective way. We offer a solution that will remove any delays and issues in communication and support. A platform where doctors have their own online presence. OSS Health is a place where your health is a priority. We've noticed some problems in the medical sector. Here's a few of them. We have problems in bookings. Booking appointments is a huge issue when it comes to doctors. Either they are fully booked or the line is busy. We have problems in support. Support is difficult for doctors viewing patients. Imagine they can do this online. We have problems in communication. Lack of communication between doctors creates a void in the health history of a patient. And then finally we have problems on their online presence. Doctors online presence is lacking. We are in the information age. If I can't see you online, I can't trust you. At OSS Health, we have some solutions for these problems. A problem, let's say a solution in booking, is booking appointments online with any doctor at any time from the comfort of your phone. If you're sick, you should be resting, not calling. We have a solution in support by offering online support, which can save doctors time and prioritize important cases by sending a single message to a doctor and getting a simple answer. We have solutions to communication. Tracking patient's history between them. Our platform will help doctors treat and take care of the patients in the best and fastest possible way. And then we offer a solution in the online presence, bringing doctors online. It's about time doctors have an online presence, giving them a place to showcase and promote their medical facilities. I think it's about time. Now, my developers are going to show you a little bit of what we've been working on these past two days. So this is basically our landing page. Here, through some smart filters, uh, Okay, so this is basically our landing page. Through some smart filters, the patient can find the, the doctor that he wants to, to go to. So let's say we do the search here, the list appears here. And here you can see the specialized uh, doctor's page. Uh, also, we, we provide uh, two products the chat and the dashboard for the doctors. This is our chat app. From the chat app, the pay, uh, you can have a patient to doctor communication and a doctor to doctor communication. So basically, uh, through the chat app, the patient can see the history, he can book an appointment and stuff like that. And doctors can talk to other doctors as well. Um, so, we have the dashboard, 
So, oops. No. Okay, well, we did manage to do more in those two days, but this is the basic idea. Uh, the, the dashboard would be the main area for for the doctors, um, where they should manage uh, their modules, like appointments modules, and how the data will be managed from the live chat. Um, we have uh, a membership, uh, various modules here. Um, uh, there, there is a big potential here, but yeah, you, you can also do prescription uh, renewal. And that's it. Maybe to other So we're a bit delayed with our presentation, but uh, just to summarize, I uh, want to mention some value points of our platform. We have online chat support, collecting data to help the industry, online sick leave documents, patient history, doctor's online presence, doctor-to-doctor -doctor communication, and doctor-to-patient communication. Monetization can come from AdSense, AdSense uh, paid, paid ad slots, uh, premium dashboard features, affiliate links, product sales, and data metrics. And finally, I'm not going to talk about this because it's quite long. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Thank you, guys. And hard luck. Welcome to the stage. blockchain for everyone in all over the world. Let's get it. Uh, we realize that there are some companies, businesses that want to change their centralized applications to the centralized, and there is the businesses that they don't have any platforms. They uh, don't have knowledge of uh, programming. They cannot afford it. But we make it easy to use it, to use blockchain, our own businesses. Um, what's our uh, primary goals? We help people all around the world to use blockchain, uh, decentralized apps, and reduction in, uh, reduction in their costs. We provide services to any kind of businesses and the pro uh, blockchain programmers. Let's start with the uh, blockchain pro programmers. We will provide them a library with a smart contract uh, for their developments. So we prepared the base that they can make smart contract on it and uh, use our special chain that we uh, developed in these two days and uh, they can customize it and they even can make token in it. For example, they can make a, their own particular coin in our chain and they can have their own uh, transactions on it so they will bring their customer to us. Let's go to other businesses, any kind of businesses, uh, that they have products, data, 
services, anything that they have, they can use uh, blockchain easily uh, without any knowledge or cost a lot. Um, for the businesses that have, for example, the stores that have an uh, online shop, we will give them library so they can simply add it to their project so they don't need the blockchain developer. Um, and the other people, the interest is, interesting part is here that the people, like someone, like influencer, like, I don't know, everyone, that uh, wants to uh, have a product or something that we can help them, we provide a platform for them, and they uh, can use our platform easily to generate QR code or link to have their uh, transactions, they can sell their services, product, and everything. Um, okay, before we get to the application, I will explain something more. Uh, how we earn money from this chain, special pain, chain that we have. Uh, we will add a fee on our, not on our financial uh, transactions. So, uh, if we consider that uh, because everyone in all over the world can use that, the transaction is going um, to infinity, so it will uh, bring huge profit. But for the other tra uh, non-financial transactions, we use off-chain, so it will not cost anything to us and to our customers. Uh, we also provide the application, but I think people, uh, guys have the technical issues. Um, I can explain it. In that application we provided, we can show you maybe later. Uh, people can come at their store, at their product, they have their uh, profile, and we will generate them uh, the links and QR code. And the other thing, we have the, the smart contract that we will make them so uh, we can use our smart contract with the functions that uh, uh, we prepare for them. Or we can have another, uh, we can have their own smart contract, but work in our chain. So everything is going like that before. They work with our chain and again, they bring their customers to us. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. The next team is Sam. Um, Welcome to the stage. Uh, participant, and we are making CLMAP, uh, 
uh, as Max already said, it's an application that helps you uh, to find events around you. So, uh, our goal aim is to help people to find uh, events around them. So, uh, which ways to find events, you know? Uh, you know, you, you can just open uh, Telegram, select something, and uh, also you can um, uh, write your friend, or your friend write you and say, let's go to some event. Also, you can use some services like Kudago, like uh, Eventbrite, like uh, all events in city. So, uh, but... Uh, However, all these uh, services or communication methods have one single problem. They're not centralized, and they do not allow you to see where the event is and how to get to it. So we set on to uh, solve this problem by creating a single app. And uh, we uh, make an uh, application sign up that solve uh, these problems uh, because uh, it's more interactive than other solutions. It has uh, events right on your map. So you can uh, just look on map and see which events is around you. Also, it has a user-friendly interface and uh, detailed info about the event that you can open. It's really straightforward. So you can, uh, the main feature is that uh, you can easily find events around you and very fast. Mm. Uh, also, we have a feature that allows you to find uh, which uh, guys also want to go to the, uh, the same event. Uh, for example, if we have uh, Hagatech and uh, we know that someone will do this also, uh, also, we have filters that help us to know uh, uh, what interest we have. Also, our friends have some filter of interest, and uh, uh, using these uh, uh, common filters, we can uh, go to events together, maybe pick up somewhere, somewhere from the map, and uh, also do all this stuff. So, let's... Uh, let's show you an example. Yes. Sure. Uh, okay, it's our application. Let's close it and open again. Uh, first of all, we need to log in somewhere. Uh, let's be what is our first login, like uh, with some username and some cross password. Then we log in. So after we log in. First login, uh, the application uh, says you to select uh, which directions of interest you, you have. It's so basically, you just choose your option. Yes, yes. Uh, like music sport, maybe I like everything, maybe I don't like something like, maybe I don't like exams. So, uh, so let's join. <laughs> so this is a map, this event. So, uh, all, all can be customized uh, and uh, events looks like uh, looks like this. So you can open some information about the, the event uh, and read briefly. And if you want to read more carefully, you can open it and you can join it. Uh, after you join, uh, the event have plus one, and uh, you can and and. Uh, if you turn on feature uh, to uh, to collect which also people can go to this event, you can see it. Uh, also, you can see the photos of events and so on. Okay, do you have some questions maybe? Right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next team is Dmax. Hi guys, where are we next? Nice to meet you. 
so as we can see here on this website, there are one, two, three, four, five ads. Um, how many of you actually ever clicked on any of that like this before? Only by accident. Yeah, always. <laughs> we maybe once or twice in a lifetime, and there are multiple reasons why this is problematic. Um, for web owners looking to generate revenue through ads, um, it makes the uh, websites unreadable, basically. Um, and the users don't really trust advertisements anymore because they know they're selling their data. And yeah, and what do they do about it? What do users do about it? Um, how many of you are using an ad blocker? Exactly. So nobody makes money, uh, obviously. And we understand that ads are annoying and uh, they disrupt our experience. So we thought, how can we make ads uh, more valuable or at least more entertaining, right? Andres? Thank you, Floris. So we're introducing Hans, a human-centric advertising platform, which basically is a web add-on uh, built on top of uh, web application, mobile application users, owners, that uh, something similar like Google AdSense, but the difference in our technology, we are putting the user in the center of the of the advertising, which gives transparency, fully control, and <clears throat> and how it fits in the ads uh, in the ads uh, ecosystem. Basically, the idea is, as I said, in the web application, mobile application, for the owners. We have an add-on extension, which is going to be a, sim a small, minimal uh, icon in the application, which acts as input of the user and gives valuable data on the profile assistant service. And based on the input data interaction of the user, that, uh, uh, input data, it gives the, into the recommendation algorithm. And this helps to have more targeted uh, advertisers. So, <clears throat> what we, uh, what values it gives? As I said, it gives the uh, value for the web owners to be more uh, readable and also make the web readable, improve clients' website to look uh, better, not spamming. Uh, Everywhere, enhance the user experience, and we get the, the trust of the users back. Um, and finally, the advertisers we get valuable uh, customers that are actually interested in the products. So now it's the demo time. You get that. So here we can see a potential customer's website. Our add-on is uh, that uh, bell on the top right with three notifications, which are the advertisements, basically. Um, they can click on one of them to uh, go to the advertisement and the product. And if they want personalization, they can register with a uh, username and password. They can select some of their interests as tags, which will have the recommendation algorithm. So once they're registered, they can immediately start interacting with advertisements so they can more or personalize their experience. They can like it, dislike, more input. Um, on the user profile, we can see that they have total control. They can edit their tags. They can allow data sharing or even disable the personalization. Um, you might have noticed the level two there. So why would users ever open that, right? Why would they use the ads? Uh, we're trying to give an acceptance to them through gamification techniques and more of that we're going to add uh, some leaderboards and with giveaways and uh, rewards for them. Uh, thank you. Thanks guys.
The next is Concha. Hello everyone, uh, now I'm presenting Kacha, Retention Marketing Solution for Web3. And the biggest question is why do Web3 companies need retention? Obviously everyone needs, but Web3 companies especially, because it's crypto in there. There is obviously less money, because crypto market cap shrinked more than two times in Q1, uh, in Q3 2022, but it's still huge, almost a trillion dollars. There are less users, less new users, users in particular, and overall number of active Ethereum wallets also declined. Now, there are more crypto companies, but less users, so the competition gets stronger, and Web3 companies need to focus on user retention. Now, there is something really special about Web3, because we don't have personal profiles, we don't have emails, phones, anything. Mostly, we have just the wallet address. So, what to do? Uh, and the pro of Web3 is that we have the blockchain and all the users are visible on blockchain and the competitors are visible too. So to address the challenge, we track what users do on blockchain. We reach the users in their wallets, uh, so we don't actually need anything else, and make communication cheap enough to maintain reasonable client retention costs. And under the hood, it works as follows. So we have some guy with a wallet. We have some blockchain address, most likely decentralized application, uh, or smart contract. We monitor what happens there, and we prepare relevant communication, uh, and then we send it. Now, the use case. Let's say we have a junior user who likes free tokens and giveaways, and he makes a trade with high fees at our completing exchange. And based on that, we send them a promo NFT and an email, if we have an email, explaining that we have smaller fees and the link to claim some free tokens, because this guy likes free tokens. In this case, NFT communication cost is half cent per user, and what is really nice is that we have an opportunity to target very specific audiences with a lot of conditions. Demo um, Let's imagine that we are one inch, and the very important disclaimer, one inch doesn't use this solution yet, at least. Um, but let's imagine we are. And we have a strong competitor, which is CowSwap, and uh, now I'm going to impersonate the user who was a user of one inch and then switched to CowSwap. So let's just make a swap, because it's going to take time to validate. This, this is a blockchain. Now a sneak peek into the gacha admin panel. So we have the clients here, the email, we are lucky to have their emails, we also have their addresses and their tags. Now we have the contracts we monitor, basically the companies on the blockchain, among which we have the cows group. We have the events, everything happens uh, with these contracts stored here. And now we have the rules, the mostly the most important part. So let me just show you how the rule is created. So we have some name, whatever. And we have uh, to select the contract, in our case it's CowSwap, and we select the condition. So if the client tag equals junior, in this case, we send them these communications. We select them from the list as well, from the database. And we actually, actually can add multiple conditions uh, to be met. I won't create this because I already have this rule here working. So let's get back and check what's there. Uh, importantly, that currently, as you can see, I have a, uh, a wallet without any NFTs. So you just understand this is all for real. So the collectibles. Aha. Uh -huh. So finally, we got our first gacha NFT. And we have a brand new, just received, uh, 521, email explaining that uh, these are the fees. You could have uh, swapped with smaller fees, and here's the link to play your nicely looking uh, tokens. And getting back to the NFT, this one was supposed to, uh, now it looks fine. So if we click on it, we can see that hey, 
we know that you are trading on our competitor. Uh, why don't you come back to us and we'll give you free tokens? So this is just a primitive example of communication with the client churns. And uh, we strongly believe that this can become a big, big deal in 2023, where when the crypto winter will stay. So that's pretty much the basic example. And thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you. And now, the ads. Hi everyone, uh, we're going to talk today a little bit uh, about decentralized ads, something that they, we've been working on in the last two days and we will show you what we have accomplished. Uh, but first I would like to tackle some problems that uh, users of uh, centralized ad exchanges have been facing over the last uh, decades of years. Uh, first of all, uh, giants like Google, Facebook take uh, the biggest part of each transaction for anyone that wants to advertise it on the, on, uh, on the internet. Uh, so they take it around 49% uh, and also they refuse to publish any cost details or anything, so uh, transparency level is pretty low. Uh, also, smaller publishers don't have enough traffic to join those kind of networks. We wanted to tackle those problems. Uh, so, basically, a solution that we created a platform that allows you to rent internet banner space in a decentralized yet simple way, but uh, by directly connecting publishers and advertising, uh, advertisers and cutting off middle middlemen. Uh, so we wanted to do it in a decentralized way and I will show you how we did it. Basically, we provided direct communication between the publisher and advertiser uh, without centralized uh, middlemen between uh, their wallets, actually. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, we, we can speak to it. So that's why we created the Crypto Banners app. Our focus was on internet banners and uh, I would like to talk now a little bit about product and its main features. Uh, first of all, uh, we have a discovery section which lists all published uh, banners ready for bidding. Uh, I didn't say, but we, we created a platform for real-time bidding of advertiser for a publisher's uh, banner on its website. So another major feature is uh, publish, which allows uh, which allows publisher to, to uh, publish its uh, banner space by creating an NFT that will be written in the Ethereum blockchain and then banner is prepared for bidding. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, yeah, uh, advertisers then can bid for, for that ad space and we provide them uh, real-time traffic data of the publisher website by scraping data from reputable sources like Sam Rush and Tranquilist. Uh, we take uh, total visits, uh, global rank, and authority score of those, uh, those web publisher websites. Also, uh, advertiser is allowed to cancel its subscription whenever it wants. That's how we tackle the fraud. If uh, publisher doesn't, uh, if publisher doesn't do all the kinds from the contract, and a reward system that will grant rewards to uh, loyal customers. Uh, this is a little bit about our architecture. We have smart contract deployed mobile app event aggregator, which uh, listens to all uh, events from smart contract and traffic data that uh, scrapes all data from Sandrush and Police. 
and this is our uh, monetization model, uh, which part of revenue. So uh, biggest part of revenue would come from processing fee, uh, fee that needs to be processed uh, to process transactions on blockchain. Other part would be a pro ad, which is a premium space on discovery page for ad publishing, around 50%, 15% of revenue, and something that we didn't implement, but uh, we are thinking about it, it's the research it is taking since uh, all tokens are stored in stored a smart contract, uh, we can use them, use those tokens for staking. We have to research that more. And now, demo time. Oh. Upstairs. You can, you can just. It's okay. Uh, so here, publisher creates net, and this is first login. Those are all already published and banners. This is uh, creating, actually minting the NFT like this. Uh, which takes some time, that's why we're not showing real time, because uh, processing a transaction on blockchain takes a little bit more time. Uh, now the, uh, the app is published, and you can switch a little bit to the advertiser user, actually, so we can see. He finds that and place its bid. Uh, we have shown in this case the other advertiser that came and poses a bigger bid than this one. Also uploads a picture that it wants to, 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 to be shown on the publisher website. And then publisher has to accept one of those bids. Uh, we added that accepting bid because we want to make sure the publisher knows what's going to be uh, advertised on its website. And here in the we have a place for published and rented ad banners already. And that's it. You can just show in uh, Ethereum blockchain what's, what are the events on the Safari. And here how we track it. Those are the, the events that happened on Ethereum blockchain. Accept bid, create bid, and our smart contract is uh, deployed, deployed there. So that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach us. We can discuss this further. Thank you very much. All right, so we have 19 for you. And the guys who did make this presentation, uh, and we're going to try to show us their product in two minutes after the break. And now we have a 15 minutes break. So, uh, and then we're going to have 10 minutes and 10 more pitches. So let's be here in 15 minutes, it's going to be 45 minutes, and we're going to continue.
Thank you.
header. So this is actually managed by our extension now. And if we go back to the server, that is exit uh, the policy uh, for the for the PND, you can see that it's zero. And uh, actually, users can go to the extension and select the uh, okay, select their preferences, for example. And next time they make a request, uh, yeah, they. So we have a few layers with regards to privacy policy, so that we make it cohesive across websites. And uh, we have default global policy for all websites to visit, but you can also specify kind of main policies. And when you select a stricter policy, it's similar to revoking uh, your consent. And uh, our protocol also works beyond screens. It can work with uh, Amazon Echoes, Marketplace, all of the new ways. Like the, the consent can travel along with. Uh, the, yeah, the, the request of the user. Thank you very much. Thank you, Prompton. And the next is Moon Trundle.
So there we go, we just uh, registered, uh, we go to the create campaign page, and here we can add a name for the campaign just for our personal reference, we'll just call it a test campaign. Uh, here we can choose the campaign type, and we go for hashtag campaign in this example, and uh, we're going to use the hashtag hack ad tech. Um, and we're going to pay two US dollars, BUSD actually, to each, uh, each user that participates in the campaign. Here we have a wallet, this is the funding wallet, so we're going to send some BUSD to this funding wallet. Um, so we go to our assets, and here we have our BUSD, it's all fake, I'm not that rich. Um, <laughs> I wish I was. <laughs> um, and here we go. So we put the funding address, and here we're going to put like a uh, thousand dollars. So we hit next, and now we just have to wait for this transaction to be confirmed. And we'll see that shortly here at the bottom, as soon as the uh, transaction. There we go, a thousand dollars has been funded. So here we're going to launch our campaign. And now that it's launched, here we are at the campaign's listing page. So this is from the perspective of the user now participating in campaigns. This is what they're going to see. Uh, and right at the top, we have the campaign we just created, Hack AdTech. So, um, we actually prepared a tweet uh, saying we've had the best time at Hack AdTech and we just post this tweet. Now, any second now, we should see here at the bottom right a notification with the verification of us receiving the payment for posting this tweet. And here it is. There's our payment. We just got two BUSD right there. We just got paid for posting this tweet. And that's the end of the our presentation. <laughs> Thank you, that was all checkers, and now the last team is work. Channel like this. 
Mm, this is our Telegram bot, and after that, uh, you will have a true status in our site. After that, uh, anyone can uh, go to advertising, creating uh, any post, and after that, uh, can find your channel on uh, our site and uh, <laughs> show advertising. Show advertising. Uh, <laughs> it's work. Uh, now it's work uh, as time as you press add, and uh, in future you can planning when advertising uh, will uh, seem on any channel. And uh, when uh, you do it, uh, some of your money uh, will given to, uh, to owner of this Telegram channel. That's all. Thank you for attention. All right, so this was a team bird, and now squirrel. Is it working? Uh, what? Why 
buying a new car. Okay, buy a new car, guys, please. <laughs> Only five minutes do it in hurry. Or we won't rise enough. Okay, the magic is starting. As you can see, we have nothing to offer here, but we can instruct the topic, sentiments and figures in real time. Now, and the bot can distribute it in a special message. The technology can be applied to any online or offline conversation on Reddit, Discord, Telegram, or WhatsApp. It doesn't really matter. So, what about the market? We decided to select Telegram as a demo market because this is the easiest way to us to demonstrate the idea and for you to test it. However, even if you stay in this field for a while, you will lose as Telegram in your present market is about $3 billion annually. No doubts, we will integrate artificial intelligence into dialogues. This helps us to extract all the valuable information and fit recommendations to the context for our clients. We will enable a way precisely to choose how to react on different events. So what about business model? The advertiser plans to choose brokerage model to the past two years. So yes, we will manage the middle for a while, but the unique technology and the blue ocean we've chosen opens us a way to become a market leader rapidly. To achieve it, we need to raise some funds for initial direct contracts with chat owners and for the staff. We will start in Telegram with the Discord and the leader in the first two years. In parallel, we plan to help large platforms such as Reddit extract more value from their user-generated content. In the end of the third year, Jeopardizing plans to control the market for brand reputation and the gaming leader here. What about financial perspective? According to our calculations, it will be possible to go to zero at the first eight months. And uh, it's time. But you can try it right now by yourself, and my guys will send a link to our random chat. So you can try the technology and feel it. Thank you. Thank you, Square Room. And now, three to four.
the most faithful uh, way we uh, uh, we make our uh, neural network based on all types of <laughs> texts text we found. Uh, the, uh, next slide, please. Uh, the economic prospects of this project are pretty obvious. We could sell uh, the subscription to that service, so we could uh, share the access for free and we will get a very specific audience uh, which we could use for the time to, to afford them something else. Let's go to the demo. But now uh, it has uh, even good results and uh, some very funny ones, uh, some weird too, because we have not very big database to uh, learn our uh, algorithm. Uh, but uh, we know uh, the ways to improve this. We can start from our database. Uh, let's try to show the demo. Yeah, you could uh, uh, check our uh, service on the website itmind.tech, or you could uh, use the code our code, scan our codes uh, from our presentation to check it. As you can see, the variants of the text are uh, generated by our uh, neural network. That's it. Thank you for everyone who wants to say thanks uh, to organizers of that uh, hackathon because uh, that hackathon is organized very good. Well. Thank you. And thank you, uh, everyone, for your attention and for. Uh, Working by the thanks. Thank you, that was three to four. And the next team is Dion Sky. Yeah, hello everybody, my name is Igor Jenshan and I'm working now as user acquisition at Rogating Group. So, uh, my 40% of my work time is testing the characters because uh, the 80% of my success, of success of my work, is to find the right promo material, the uh, one of the computer with uh, the product, and we know it's, it's great to rename it as it's great. So, testing, uh, as I told, about take about 40% of my time, and it take a lot of time and it take a lot of money for our company to find the right one. So, I believe that one, my problem was is over testing. So, I uh, spent a lot of money and spent a lot of time, uh, a lot of more than I should. Uh, and I start to um, find the decision how I make optimize my work, my testing process. So I found, I found the decision in statistical science uh, in, uh, in the new application. Uh, I solved it with, uh, with data that I, my CDR, my crypto rate that I want is about 1%. And 95% uh, of errors. So I uh, found that I need only 300 uh, clicks to take the uh, 100% decision, 95% uh, decision right. So I uh, implement this uh, knowledge. I reduce the time from three days uh, of testing. Uh, to one and a half and, uh, day of testing, so I reduce it as twice. Also, I reduce the money that I am um, that I spend. Uh, usually, I uh, testing ten characters, ten videos uh, for three days to get the results. After that, I test I testing uh, ten characters for one half day. 
so not every manager know the statistics. Not every manager know how much risk they should take to take through the results. Uh, so we want to make uh, new service. Uh, we call it the OTCR uh, that will help managers uh, and the companies to reduce amount of tests, uh, but um, get bad results. So um, reducing uh, their time, uh, it's not only save money, but it's uh, increasing speed of marketing. So company make more profit. Um, so we made uh, the service that uh, have one one function. You upload the graphics and we test it on real um, traffic. We create campaigns in several uh, traffic sources like providers uh, and Facebookers and take uh, um, take clicks, take traffic to special um, a special test uh, page where we show uh, where we rotate the, the creatives from um, that was uploaded and uh, measure its results. So we believe that we'll, this, this service will help, we will uh, save money, we will save time and, to, <laughs> and, uh, and make more profit for companies. So this is Xenia, my vice president, uh, my vice captain, captain of uh, our team and she will uh, take them up. Okay, um, thank you. Uh, today I will show you what does our MVP. Uh, let's imagine that I am some manager of Amazon store and I want to test my pictures and choose the best one with the highest CTR. So I use my service that we create our service. Here I write down my test name, let's call it demo. I put here my store link where all my previews will lead to, then select sample size. Now it's a number that you can uh, write down, but then we will simplify it even more, just uh, create grades of tests, like hard test, easy test, or the most popular one. Next step, I just upload my creatives. This my pictures that I want to choose the best of them, for advertisement. Okay, great. Then pay and run. Okay. Here there is a uh, page with all test results. We already conducted some tests and you can see here our results. Here is a winner with the highest CTR with a CTR of 2%. Uh, here is what created our current demo and Okay, uh, so there is a website where we rotate that pictures that I uploaded for the test and we uh, push this link in the advertisement uh, website, for example, in ProBeller ads. So here is a number. Yes, okay, so now there is a working advertisement uh, in real life. Uh, here is our real budget, how we with our budget. So now, currently, some traffic goes to, uh, to the link, and we record the data, we record views, and we record clicks, and then we get results for the tests, providing the best picture from selected. Okay, let's assume that it will be updated in a couple of seconds. So this is this. Uh, also, what we want to improve next is, of course, direct uh, integration with the propeller ads and other advertisement uh, platforms to get rid of any loss of traffic, of course, and it decrease our advertisement costs. And another thing is uh, we want to record another information. We will record view time to decrease our accuracy of results. For example, if there is a view of three seconds, so it's valid information and we will put it to our testing. So, thank, thank you.
Human Coming and Propellers. And now the next one is Human Cost Team. <laughs> Presentation tricks. <laughs> by life support, by personal coach, 
чат о офлайн митинг and uh, library uh, we have uh, story store uh, products uh, motivation uh, and uh, you can get three uh, items uh, by them uh, using points and uh, maybe it's all <laughs> okay. thank you for the presentation it was human code team and the next is and dictum Yeah, <laughs> but uh, we had articles, titles, and descriptions, 
but they were heavily hashed. Uh, on the next slide, there is literally the data we had. It was like looking into the matrix. But um, despite of this, we could find some interesting uh, insights. Yeah. Um, really, users can be clustered by their interests. And articles, despite we have, we don't have words of these articles, we just had uh, those hashes in them. So, um, but we can cluster them. And that's great. <laughs> Hmm. All right, on um, this plot you can see that uh, there are a small amount of articles that are really popular. Uh, user clicks uh, on them really often, and there is a lot of articles that are not such popular. Um, all right, and some articles have a huge time dependency. You can see uh, two examples of these different type of articles. One of them uh, clicked all the time. Uh, users are interested in them all the time. Uh, and some of the articles are popular in a certain periods of time during the day. But what we are talking about, why these recommendation algorithm are important? Well, as we know, uh, the sharks of business like Netflix and uh, Spotify, for example, um, about 80% of their income uh, is made by um, excuse me, um, oh, okay, 80% uh, of their the income um, they have from uh, recommendations. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, so in this task we have our specific score. Uh, the last was uh, 78%. As I know, it's the first uh, place between in our track. But I'd like to thank our uh, competitors because it was really tough to beat them. <laughs> well, uh, and we'd like to thank uh, Nancy Holding and Notix for this amazing event. It was really fun, it was really insightful. Thank you so much. Thank you, and the stage, Okay, hi to all. Uh, so we are from Data Mola and we also um, make some fun uh, without science and research data. Uh, so today uh, our goal uh, was uh, not to beat some numbers and make some um, some process uh, to be clean and uh, very quality, uh, we try to make some fun with new technology and show up how everything uh, could be done uh, with carbon uh, uh, technology and artificial intelligence very fast and very scalable, uh, also high available, and around to us also some APIs that help us to also get some uh, quality numbers. That's not so big, uh, it's now competitors, uh, but they're okay. Uh, so what we're talking about uh, today, uh, we try to build everything on uh, NVIDIA Merrill system. Uh, so that's a framework that provided by NVIDIA. It's uh, uh, fully launched on uh, GPU, uh, and it uh, contains from multiple parts. So one of these is to uh, speed up the learning and each development, the second one is the capability to build uh, some processes that go through a bunch of uh, neural networks uh, to get uh, the recommendation. And the third one, but not least, that the inference, how fast uh, we could inference the data and what is the input we could go through it. 
So today we also will show you some demo when we try to create some competition between Apache Kafka and the media on Infra. And let's see who will win. So what we will see today, so one of these is NVIE, that's also in memory uh, GPU database. Uh, so all results will go directly after the inference to a database, and you can see uh, some tables and how they will change eventually. Uh, also, we'll create high log inference. So we'll create some big traffic that goes through inference models. Uh, I will also show up how it is easily could be scalable. Um, and probably that's all. So let's try our demo. So let's try from IE. That's that's IE. So on the left side you can see the uh, our best results. So that's our experimentals. And the number of records that we have also then use, the uh, decent count of user accounts. Uh, on the right hand, there is some uh, recommendations that goes to uh, 212 euro news and some uh, KPIs and how many users click on it and so on. So let's go through the process. So we scale some workers, we start working with Kafka. Uh, So basically, uh, what you could see is that uh, the process goes uh, smoothly and we could easily uh, process a big high low through our inference model and get some recommendations to the users. That's all, thank you. Thank you, Dave Paul. And now, you know,
react on this very fast and change our uh, recommendations. And also, it's easy customizable model. You can use your different business rules uh, to change the output. And that's all. Thank you. Thank you. That was evil me. And actually, that was our team number 19, last one. But there's a team at our block that want to show you the presentation. Pretty fast one. Hello everyone, uh, sorry we had a problem sharing monitor, so we had to uh, make a video and uh, show it to you. Uh, as you know, our project is based on blockchain, so uh, our main focus and coding was on blockchain smart contract and backend code just was uh, just we prepared uh, some simple front end for presentation this page is a dashboard and here we have some uh, details for monitoring data for the stores and actually this for uh, people that don't have knowledge of coding and they don't want to uh, code, uh, but anybody else can use our library. Uh, but for people that uh, don't want to code, uh, here they can register uh, their S store. Uh, their S store can be anything, service, data, or product. Uh, after that, in this page, uh, they can add their product, uh, and all of this data is stored on blockchain. Uh, they can sell their product on blockchain, and they don't need to pay anything for host, for uh, coding, or anything, just uh, the commission on transaction and the user buy the product. Here is product list and uh, this page is a smart contract page. Uh, we have two types uh, people that can that have their own smart contract. They can upload the contract here and use our library. And that's um, page for listing. Uh, user can by product and uh, also we have QR code that uh, we can pay by QR code and pay by cryptocurrency. Thank you all. So that's the end of the demonstration part. What's going to be next? Right now our jury is going to go to a special place that they're going to decide to win. But we are here, we're going to stay here, and we together with you are going to decide who will be the winner of People's Choice Award. So what do you have to do? Turn on all okay. your flat, flat devices, and we're going to use a channel called Talk Random in order to win for the best 